Hello everyone. Today we will present to you about Zachman framework. In this presentation we will talk about the introduction, uses, example and the pro and cons of the Zachman framework. So let's get started. First of all what is Zachman Framework? Zachman Framework was created in 1987 by John Zachman and it is commonly utilized approach for enterprise architecture engineering. This framework was known as a framework for information system architecture and it was published in IBM magazine as Zachman worked for IBM from 1964 until 1990. This framework was created based on the idea that the same complex item can be defined in several ways for various various purposes and it can utilize various sorts of descriptions. There are 36 categories that are required to fully describe anything, particularly complicated items like manufactured goods. They were then divided into a two-dimensional matrix with six rows and six column. There are seven rules of Zachman framework. First, no rows or columns should be added to the structure. Second, there is a simple generic model for each column. Third, the generic model of each column is specialized in each cell model. Fourth, there can be no more than one cell for each meta concept. Fifth, do not create diagonal relationships between cells. Sixth, the names of the rows and columns should not be changed. Lastly, the logic is recursive and generic. Now we will see the uses of the Zachman framework. The Zachman framework provides a means of classifying an organization's architecture. It is a proactive business tool. It can be used to model an organization's existing functions, elements and processes. Next, it will identify the different viewpoints that might be relevant for different purposes. Lastly, it will manage business change. There are six stakeholders that will be responsible in the Zachman framework. For contextual, the one that will be responsible is the planner, while for logical is the designer. As built is the responsible for the programmer and conceptual for the owner. Builder is responsible for physical aspects and as a user, we are responsible for the functioning enterprise. The six aspects of Zachman framework and the interrogatives to which they correspond. The data aspect. What? The function aspect. How? The network aspect. Where? The people aspect. Who? The time aspect. When? the motivation aspect. Why? These are the two companies that use Zachman framework in their business. The first one is International Business Machines Corporation known as IBM. One department decided to use Zachman framework to be compared with their IBM Global Service Method, IGMS, that involve mapping rules. Next is Bank of America. Bank of America uses this framework as a guide to convert their business into mobile banking application. In Zachman Framework, there are pros and cons. The pros are the Zachman Framework explains all the angles that an organization should consist of. This can be applied within the Enterprise Unified Process, EUP. The Zachman Framework clearly states that there are many stakeholders. The bad things about Zachman Framework are the Zachman Framework isn't well accepted within the development community and few developers even it seem to have even heard about it. It also appears to be biased towards traditional, data-centric techniques. I think that's all from us until next time. Bye.